when you competed um, in Birmingham in 2018 mm-hmm. in the World Indoor, good crowd, very <laughs> crowd into it, but right. more EQs than I have ever seen in an indoor meet in my life. Right. Um, what was that about back then? Do you remember? Was it just like a lot of people didn't have the experience that some of you had on the boards, not knowing when to cut in and stuff? No, there were really strict rules, like really, okay. really strict rules. And they really emphasized the rules, like to the T. I think yeah. there was multiple rules, not only the cut over, but if you step on the line too many times, something that normally, you know, we you understand if it's outdoors, like, for example, if you do have a relay and then you step on the line, but this was indoors, which everyone knows is a little bit more compact and especially when you have taller runners, um, it's going to make you, you know, not, you know, subconsciously to step on a line or it's not like you're focusing on not stepping on the line, but they were so strict at yeah. that indoors that people really had to pay attention. And they were literally, the officials were paying attention to the T and that's why there were so many DQs. I think there was, if I remember, I was looking at my notes the other day, I thought it was like 46 DQs. It was insane. It, I'd never seen, I mean, I actually remember asking Lord Coe about it and he just said, those are the rules. He was smart enough to stay out of yeah. it. Okay. 